welcome back to my channel and today I want to share with you my project makeup use up introduction. Um, as I mentioned in previous videos I am on a hardcore mission to use up as much as possible to um, move with less and the way I was approaching project panning just wasn't aligning with that philosophy so I have decided to take more of a um, path of least resistance approach <laughs> and basically each month I will update this video um, with a selection of products I'm currently working on, any that I've used up, any I want to add in and we'll just kind of go with there. I am working on the main products I picked for my project pans this year but I am also adding other things in. So let's just jump on in and talk about the products I'm specifically working on at the moment. It's as I'm filming this, this is the 17th of March, so so we're talking like what I'm working on the rest of March into April. So um we'll start with primers because I have a lot of primers and I would like to use up a lot of primers this year. Um but I do have several on the go at the moment I'm working on finishing. I'm not sure if I mentioned before but I lost this back in January, my Bobbi Brown face base and I've been dabbling in others but I'm glad to have rediscovered it and in fact it wasn't even that far away from me, it just kind of got itself wedged between a couple of units. Um, but here we are, it is back, it has very very little left in there, I think I could probably get this finished up before the next update if I worked hard on it. And alongside it, I am also working on the Lisa Armstrong one for Avon face base, which again, very little left in there. I've already hit the bottom of the jar. And um, once these two get moved out, if I happen to get them both moved out before the next update, which could happen in an ideal world, but you know, let's not aspire to, well, let's aspire to it, but let's not expect it to happen. If that should happen though, best case scenario, I will bust out the Revolution face base, what do they call theirs, the Miracle Cream, and um, I've already made a, a, a beginning of a dip in there, and uh, I'll be working on this guy until it's finished up as well. I really love these hydrating um, cream face bases, and um, yeah, so there we are. Um, as I mentioned, I'm trying to go along the path of least resistance. Originally, I was working on using up this foundation, but I just wasn't in the vibe for it. And um, I kind of set it aside and was using this. It's the Avon, um, Avon Creamed Powder Foundation. And it wasn't even specifically that I wanted to use it. It's just seeing it in this sort of broken down condition was just annoying me so much. I couldn't stand looking at it anymore. So I, I just pulled it forward and started working on it instead. Um, I didn't make most of this progress. There was a lot more in here. Rosie painted herself with it. But as you can see, there is very little left. And um, this would definitely get finished up for the next update. So hopefully I can get this finished up and um, the rest of the MAC Studio Sculpt as well. We'll see where, where it goes. But those are the two that I'm focusing on at the moment. Um, if I should get through those two, I mean, I have a myriad of other ones I could um, sort of navigate into. I have some other um, creamed powder ones I could get finished. And being as you're only nine grams per container, it would be a good way to get through a lot of items faster because there's so little in them um, but I also have several liquid foundations that have so little in them like my NYX HD foundation, um, my Revolution Pro Camo Flage, whatever it's called, I, I forget, I forget. It's been so long since I've held these product names in my brain, I can't recall them a uh, drop of a hat anymore but that is what we're going to be focusing on foundation wise concealer i am focusing on this eyebrow from revolution it only has like three mils in it and i'm not sure if the camera will pick up but the 
bottom of the bit that twists up the product is now visible in the window so it shouldn't be too long before this is all done. I don't think it'd be finished before the next update but potentially, potentially. Um, I've learned little goes a long way with this product otherwise it just makes everything kind of cakey all over my face so um, I do enjoy it. Um, I, I might repurchase it again once I go through some other concealers but working on using that guy up just in natural consequence I suppose you could say it just in natural progression I'm not trying to force it I'm just going to use it until it's done um to set everything I was using the uh Ben no the Kevin Aquan powder that was in a project pan I kind of put it away for a while because I, I felt like um it was accentuating like creases and aging in my skin and so I've started using this matte maker powder from Maybelline instead but now that I've kind of gotten on board with my skincare game um, I might dip between the two um, work on the matte maker and then maybe use the Aquan, Kevin Aquan as we go forward I also kind of had a brainwave the other day um, I spotted that this had been fondled by a child <laughs> Um, this this buttercream powder is like the perfect marriage between a matte and the Kevin Aquan powder so once those two are done I might start using this as more of like a setting powder just to get used up and then work on like the bronzers um, and the highlights as we go along we'll see um, I know I'm supposed to be working on face palettes or whatever but they're all the way over the room, other side of the room and like I said we're going through path of least resistance and literally getting up to walk over there to get them. <sighs> it sounds like it's no problem but when you literally have like five minutes to get your makeup done it's, it's a faff. If it's not right here in front of me it's not going on my face. <laughs> it just isn't. Um, but in terms of actual bronzer that I've been using. I've been working on the NYX one still and we're, we're making steady progress through it. I'm going to carry on working on it and um, yeah it's just getting thinner. The pan's getting a bit larger. It's getting lower around the edges. Um, again I kind of want to, there, there's numerous bronzers that I like the look of that I'm working, that I like the look of and would like to work on throughout the rest of the year so they are all right here in front of me. I haven't put them away. I have my MAC bronzer and this one from the XX Revolution range in Command. These are two bronzers that I really enjoy as well but um, I think I'm, I'll am i I'll dabble in these if the fancy takes me but my main focus will be on the next one. And um, highlight has definitely just been the Guerlain Cruel Gardenia. I really just I want to get this finished up this year. Just I would love to. And um, I'm at a point now where in the middle it is very close to hitting the pan. The leaves are definitely getting very, um, well the petals are definitely getting very worn down now. And yeah, it still works perfect. It still smells fine. It hasn't broken me out or caused any irritation. There's a little bit of hard pan going on in there, but it's, it's fine. It just needs a little scrape off. Uh, but that is the highlight that I'm mostly focused on. And I have come to the conclusion that that, um, well, I came to the conclusion a long time ago but refused to accept it that most highlights just look the same. So I probably won't buy very many highlights in future unless it's like an outstanding one. It's like a breakaway product. Um, but yeah, use it, love it, enjoy it. Um, blush, I don't... I don't know about blush. I mean, I'm going for more of like a cool toned, neutral esque look, um, which would lend itself better to this blush. This is Vision from XX Revolution, but I have been gravitating more towards this blush, which is Amaretto from Becca. Mm. And I've been using Amaretto so much that it's actually getting a, I don't know if it'll show up properly, but it's getting a dip in the center there it's actually very close to hitting pan there um so who knows i might just gravitate towards this but i'll keep this on hand if i want a more cool tone blush we'll see how it goes um 
But yeah, and to set all with a setting mist, I've been using the Collection Dewy Makeup Spray. There is, hopefully you can maybe hear, there's not a whole lot left in there. I'm not, I'm not too fussed about the rate of going through my setting sprays because I will just go through them naturally. Um, but by, you know, not wearing makeup, I'm not using them up and they've just been sitting for a very long time. Some of them I've had since, um, late 2019, late 2020, and I would just like to get them used up. So wear more makeup, use up more setting spray, you know, things like that. Um, and that is it for like face products. Another thing I'm working on, but not like focusing on is the sticker up here, a little sample from uh, Dr. Jart. I throw it on when I need it. It's not it's not imperative. It's my makeup's not going to be destroyed if I don't use it. The other thing I, I do tend to possibly use if I'm using a liquid foundation is the add some green color corrector in with the foundation. Again, I'm not specifically project planning this because I will always have some form of green corrector in my collection, um, but I don't want them hanging around too long, like all of them open, if that makes sense. So. Yes, there is that. Eyes, of course, working on my primer potion as always. We'll, we'll get through it all as we get through it. Um, this is the brow pencil I'm working on. It's one of the Mark ones. Uh, there, once I finish this one, I'm going to pull the duplicate of this I have in my makeup bag, which has roughly the same amount of product in it as well. Uh, that is one of my main goals this year is to use up all of my mechanical brow pencils. Um, I want to part, start focusing on my pomades, powders and um, sharpenable pencils. Um, so once we get all of the mechanicals out of the way, we'll focus on all of those hardcore brow products that will take an eternity to use up. Because <laughs> they will. And like I was saying, all my palettes that I'm supposed to be focusing on are on my dresser over there, which is like, it's like a meter and a half away. It's really not that far, but it's the effort of going, just, it's silly, it's silly. So I had this little quad sitting here on my desk, this little quad of MAC shadows we have in here. Um, we have Dazzle Light Brulee, Cork and Espresso, and actually just the other day I hit pan on this repressing of cork. Um, so I've just been kind of using these together, just throwing them on my eyes. And uh, I've really enjoyed this really quick go-to look. And um, when I often fall off the Project Pan That Palette bandwagon, I always gravitate back towards my MAC shadows and wanting to use up my MAC shadows. So I, I know once I finish this brulee, I'm gonna go into my MAC palettes and pull out vanilla and when I finish Dazzle Light I'm going to pull out um, either Crystal Avalanche or Shroom once I've finished um, what did I say this was? Cork? I'm going to pull out either um, Kid or I um, can't remember what the other one's called probably Kid, I'll probably pull out Kid and um, Espresso will probably take forever to use up but yeah work on some of my MAC shadows that I know I've had since 2015, 2016-ish, so they are getting up in years, so it's a good idea to use them. Um, but I did pull over one of my littler palettes that I was working on. This is my Dior Earth Reflection, and because Cool Tone is like the vibe at the moment, it's the trend, this palette just fits into that so, so nicely, and I've been using this taupe on my lids. I really enjoy it. Um, in fact, this is older than quite a lot of my MAC shadows, so maybe once I finish Dazzle Light I might just use these two shades as inner corner highlights because they're just in this palette anyway. We'll see, we'll see. I would like to work more on my eyeshadows, get eyeshadows used up, but we'll, we'll just see where we get to. If I want to dabble in other palettes, I will. Um, make it fun. Path of Least Resistance, if the mood takes me I'll pick something random, but um, yeah. Um, using up all of the other non-eyeshadow makeup products is a lot more important. 
And then onto lip products I'm working on, I will probably pick a new um, Avon lip liner each month if I've been using my makeup consistently. These only take like a month to go through for me. Um, this is Mystery Mauve. I have it on at the moment underneath this lipstick from Guerlain in shade um, 11. And again, this doesn't have a whole lot in it. And I actually started using the side of the bullet today and it wore down a lot just by doing that. So I'm gonna, I, I will probably knock off the top of this by the time the next update comes. And the last two lip products that I'm also working on are is the Revolution Pro uh, High Shine Lip Gloss. It's a vegan collagen peptide. That was not the um, the sales point for me in the shade Cashmere. I absolutely love it. There's only like four mils in this and I'm already like down to here-ish. I, I just throw it on. It's a, it's a wonderful little lip treatment for me. The colour is inconsequential it doesn't really make a difference it just gives it a little bit of shimmer and sheen and um yeah i'm enjoying it so i will use it work it out and use it up i don't know what i was trying to say there basically i'm just going to use it as a use it and finish it <laughs> and then if i um i want to pop color someday i pop on this little revolution matte balm in elusive or insatiable and i just kind of um literally it's a pat 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 type thing i don't put on too much of it because it is a very intense and pigmented and i just kind of yeah it just adds a bit of brightness and um yeah and i've really been wanting to use these um balms for years <laughs> literally years so it's it's nice to be able to just pick something up and use it and um as you can see, I've worn down the tip of it and um, I'm just going to work my way through it and work my way through the other two that I have. Um, like this guy has gotten a bit melted. <laughs> this is in the shade uh, Enchanting and then this one is in the shade Sultry. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to work my way through them. Like I say, I'm going through, going for the the theme of path of least resistance if i see a product that i really want to use i'm just going to pick it up and use it because i will actively want to use it more and um, there's lots of things currently on my desk that i want to actively use more like this smashbox trio i want to finish up this little lid tone shade so i might actually repress the smash shade into brulee when it's finished and use it that way and I might use this sort of taupe shade that's there as well and um, you know see how it goes but we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in later updates to this project and um, yeah I'm really stoked about everything I'm really happy with everything that I'm using it's a nice sort of condensed down selection of products I do still have my little caddy here with all of my project planning things in it but I was meant to be focusing on and the layer of dust the layer of dust i need to give all these things a wipe down and and um clean out my little folder here i also need to give all my makeup brushes a wash um but yeah just condensing it down to this little selection of products i don't even know how many there are i don't want to count them okay that's how little effort I want to put into this because it becomes a chore, it becomes a job and then it becomes not fun and I need fun right now, I need fun, I need relaxing, I need something that isn't gonna stress me out so I'm not taking pictures, I'm not weighing things, I'm not counting uses, I'm not measuring nothing so if you're looking for the in-depth minutia updates this is not your place. Mm -mm. I will track how many times I wore makeup that is it. <laughs> My aim is to wear makeup between now and the next update it would probably be about 30 days. So if I could wear makeup 15 of those days, that would make me very happy. And um, we'll probably see that progress reflected in these products in that update. So I'm going to leave this video here and um, yeah, leave this video here and get on with a few other things. I have a few more videos to film and uh, I hope you guys um, are okay with me uh, 
sort of shelving the individual project concepts. As I said, I will probably revisit them at the end of the year and give a wrap up of what I actually used out of what I intended to use. Um, but I just need to make progress right now. I need something to create an upward spiral. I need, yeah, I need to move forward and this is the best way for me to move forward. Little things, little things. So I will catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.